guys and welcome back to this tutorial. In this lecture we are going to discuss JSON data files. Starting with the name, JSON comes from JavaScript object notation and is a language independent human readable language used for its simplicity and is also most commonly used in web-based applications to exchange data in between parties. Now the JSON extensions obviously end with the .json. JSON is a user-friendly substitute to XML as it is more lightweight and easy to read. Also, being more lightweight, Files with data that are exchanged from servers to clients can end up be much smaller in size and that's why it is a preferred way to communicate data on the World Wide Web from that perspective. The advantages for the JSON language revolves around the fact that it is easy for humans to read and write and is also easy for machines to parse and generate JSON. Now, when talking about the structure of a JSON file, it only has two parts in its entire structure. The first part that it has, it's a collection of name-value pairs. In various languages, this is realized as an object, record, struct, dictionary or hash table. Also, it can be a keyed list or an associative array. The second part then that a JSON file can have is an ordered list of values. And uh, you can associate that in most languages with an array, vector, list or sequence. Now, we know that when exchanging data between a browser and a server, the data can only be text. And JSON is text. This way, we can easily convert any JavaScript object into JSON and send that JSON to the server or the client. Now, we can work with the data as JavaScript objects with no complicated parsing and translations. Also, if you receive data in JSON format as a client from the server, you can easily convert it into a JavaScript object, so it works great the other way around too. So this was about it with the JSON data files that are used in APIs to transfer information. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.